Hare Krishna. Question from Praveen Nayak Prabhu. It is said in NOD that the basic that for Ekadashi the basic principle is not just to fast but to increase our love for Krishna. So how does fasting on Ekadashi lead to increase of our devotion for uh, increase of our devotion for Krishna? Answer various ways. First of all, Ekadashi is itself a day which is sacred, which is uh, which is special uh, for Krishna. Krishna has arranged that that day is a day of special mercy for his devotees. So on that day, uh, if we do something special, uh, which is connected with our bhakti, then that itself will help us move closer to Krishna. So that is a. There are times in the in the calendar which are more auspicious or less auspicious, which, are, which are relatively more auspicious. So, just as Janmashtami is a day when the whole day becomes special, similarly Ekadashi is also a fortnightly day that is special. So, that's why on that day, if we minimize our bodily activities and maximize our devotional activities, then that is an immense help in moving closer to Krishna. Now, uh, going further, if we look at the principle of Ekadashi, as it is said, we fast not <coughs> to torment the body, we fast to transcend the body. That means that we fast so that we can uh, minimize the needs of the body because preparing food, thinking about food, then eating food, then maybe resting after eating food, all this takes time, it takes time, mental energy and all that time and mental energy can be saved if we just make a resolve, I will, I will fast. The fasting of course can be at different levels and that can be done according to our individual capacity, uh, physical as well as psychological. And if we are feeling very, very tormented by fasting, then we can, maybe not fast fully, we can take some level of food and at the other time we can focus on Krishna. But the point is, when, uh, the, when we fast, we feel a certain level of discomfort, a certain level of uh, craving, uh, not necessarily craving in a negative sense, but it is just a biological need. We feel a sense of uh, need or craving, whichever way we want to look at it. But if we can absorb ourselves in Krishna, then we can transcend that bodily need. So, <clears throat> If we have decided to fast and then the body's urge for food starts tormenting us, then now we cannot just live constantly tormented. We want to do something to avoid the torment. Suppose we, are, we sit down on a chair and that chair, somebody has put all thorns on it. Then what do we do? We don't just sit on that chair of thorns. We immediately get up and try to go somewhere else. So when we get some painful stimuli, we try to move away from that painful stimuli. That's a natural human reflex action. So, in the case of Ekadashi, when we are fasting, now the normal reflex action whenever we feel hungry is that take food. But <coughs> on the days of Ekadashi, when we fast, <coughs> instead of this normal reflex action of when we feel the pangs of hunger eat, instead we try to absorb ourselves in Krishna. So, by, by calling out to Krishna, by seeking shelter in Krishna, by immersing our consciousness in Krishna, we will show Krishna, you know, so, oh, so much is my longing for food, uh, but so much more is my longing for you, O Krishna. That uh, more than food and more than water, if we are fasting in the So the point is, that that same power of desire which is normally directed towards food we try to redirect it towards Krishna and the more we can absorb ourselves in Krishna the more we can transcend the uh, uh, the craving the need the torment caused by the lack of food and thus we can realize the the reality of the shelter that comes by absorption in Krishna we may have observed that on some days when there are vibrant spiritual programs and then we have to fast. We just get so absorbed in Krishna that we are able to fast without all that much difficulty. And how does that happen? That happens because we have got a higher taste. Niraharasya dehina param drishtuani vartate. As Krishna says in <coughs> 2.59 that he is talking of course about sense objects but the principle applies here also that when there is niraharasya, when there is no ahar then we feel 
ವಿಷಯಾ ನಿವರ್ತದೆ ನಿರಾಹಾರಸ್ಯ ದೇಹಿನ ರಸವರ್ಜಂ ರಸೋಪ್ಯಸ್ ಅಲ್ ದ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ರಸ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಪರಂ ದೃಷ್ಟ್ವ ನಿವರ್ತತೆ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೆನ್ ರೇಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಬೌ ಬಾಡಿಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ then that is a very great faith booster and that is a very strong impetus for us to pursue bhakti more intensely more intently and in this way fasting if it is used to intensify our uh, seeking the seeking and getting the shelter of krishna then that can spur us on in our spiritual life with far with greater conviction and of course our so so the principle underlying is that we shouldn't just uh, fast from food and think of food uh, we fast from food and we think of krishna when we do that then we will experience how thinking of krishna f- fulfills us at a much deeper level uh, and that satisfaction at a deeper level helps us to transcend the urge for food so in that way now we may or may not be able to fast at the level of nirjal or just jal or whatever whatever level we are we suitable for our body we can fast but the principle is that it can be at a some level of austerity more than uh, more than what we do at a daily level and coming out of our comfort zone like that and seeking relief from the discomfort of minimizing the bodily needs by absorption in krishna that we can by that we can gain experience of the reality of krishna the reality of krishna shelter and so 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 when we absorb ourselves in krishna by chanting by hearing by studying by praying by worshiping by serving in various ways then that contact with krishna also purifies us and that also helps us to move closer to krishna and to in, uh, to nourish our krishna bhakti so at multiple levels i just talked about three levels over here first is that because ekadashi is a holy day a special day we get mercy of krishna on that day when we do some special activities involving minimization of our bodily bodily needs and maximizing our devotional activities and when we subject ourselves to voluntary discomfort thus coming as forcing ourselves out of the comfort zone and then then absorb ourselves in krishna uh, <coughs> then and thus transcend the discomfort then we gain realization of the reality of krishna's shelter and the fulfillment therein and that is a great boost for our spiritual advancement that definitely helps us to intensify our bhakti and increase our love for krishna and thirdly because we are connecting with krishna because we are practicing bhakti intensely so that contact with krishna itself uh, uh, is something which inspires us which nourishes our bhakti increases our love for krishna so as devotees our focus is not on fasting from food our focus is on fe- feasting on krishna feasting on the various manifestations of krishna as they are manifested in the holy name uh, as the deities as the scripture as the various kinds of absorbing krishna conscious activities thank you hare krishna